Connective's been involved in Prince George over the past three years. We've had a number of different programs, uh, including ACES, which is an employment program, community outreach services, uh, and then the Community Supports Initiative as well, which uh, provides housing supplements to individuals. So this is a supportive housing development, uh, so it's funded through BC Housing. We were awarded the contract uh, to operate it here this year, so it was uh, designed by BC Housing and built in part of a much larger project here on this site. So we'll be housing 50 individuals here who uh, are experiencing or are near homelessness, providing uh, social supports as well to them to help them in achieving their goals. We're going to have people living here who, uh, they may be coming off the streets, they may be coming out of shelters, but essentially unhoused individuals. So this is really giving them a home, I mean, and that's uh, one of the important first steps with it. From there and from Connective's approach, we're going to really work with people on a person-by-person -person basis and really developing a plan with each individual on what they want to achieve, where are their goals, and how do we then, through our support services, connect them to other supports in the community, other services in the community. Supportive housing can mean a lot of things. This specific one will be permanent housing. So people can stay as long as they want, as long as they need to. For some individuals, this may be a stepping stone to independent housing or in the regular market housing. And for some, they might stay here forever. Each path will be different. It's really just full circle supports and whatever an individual needs to foster their own success. On site here, we do have uh, a number of features, I think, to help support people in maintaining their housing. And that's, uh, we've got this great common space that we're working or sitting in right now and speaking in. It includes the kitchen, which uh, we'll be able to provide uh, one more meal a day. And then we provide a breakfast as well in the mornings. That's kind of a take and go. There's a multi-purpose room, which will allow us to work with um, small groups of people or large groups of people, connect with that, do some of our staff training and staff um, resource pieces as well. There's also a, a private interview room, so we don't necessarily have to enter into individual spaces to talk with them. We can meet with them in that space, and it's a bit of a neutral space. Also serves as a place where we can bring outside organizations in to do some of their work as well. So if people need ID, we can run a clinic out of here to help people get ID. Um, if they need access to other supports or resources, we can do that. We also have a, a medical room, which is going to serve both as a harm reduction space in the building to help support those who are making a choice to use substances or engage in substance use, uh, to do it more safely and to do it in a supported way. And then we also have the plans to run uh, medical clinics out of there. So if we can get a physician or a nurse practitioner to come in and run some clinics, physiotherapists to run clinics out of the space, we have that space available as well. We do have an Indigenous support worker who is going to be our connection and our liaison to work with both nations, local, culturally appropriate uh, organizations to connect people to additional services that may be required or may support them in achieving their goals. Having an on-site Indigenous support worker, I think it's becoming more common or to figure out ways or relationships within the community to provide those supports, particularly for non-Indigenous-led organizations. We recognize that in Connective, that we are a non-Indigenous-led organization but we serve a number of Indigenous people. And again, here in the North, we know that is going to be even higher. And so building those relationships, whether it is us delivering it through an employee directly, or whether it's us working with other partners to provide those supports is critical, I think, to the success of these programs. This is gonna be people's homes and we really want it to feel that way. Everybody's path is different, just the same as it would be for you and I. And for some people that may be 24 7 lots of supports lots of help from staff and for some people that might just be a safe secure roof over their head and if you can't feel safe and secure in your home then you can't call it a home so that's really our goal